whilst medicine has advanced so much in the last hundred years, the teaching of surgery hasn't. Pretty much the only way that you can practice today is by actually working on a, a dead body, a cadaver. And you get to work on it once because once you've made a cut or an incision in it, no one can cut it and incise it again. And it doesn't behave like real life flesh anyway. What we're doing is using virtual reality combined with haptic feedback and that's a sense of touch so, so you can see and feel a patient to deliver a totally new way of, of experiencing surgical procedures and because it's digital you can press the reset button each time and just go again and again and again. The simulation market today is, is quite well served but what characterises all of the solutions is proprietary hardware that's really expensive. So one of the key advantages to the system that we're making is that we can use off-the-shelf VR headsets. So it's extremely cheap to put together and also it's accessible whatever part of the world you're in. With those very simple pieces of kit combined with our software they're able to then recreate pretty much any surgical environment and situation. We're also working with King's College London and the academics and clinicians there have got a lot of experience in um, setting up simulation training and they've done a lot of trials where they've looked at the success outcomes and being able to have their input on our project is incredibly valuable. The Industrial Strategy Challenge Fund allows us to get to market faster. We've got some competitors that are already looking at this space but we know that we've got a unique component in the haptic feedback element of our VR simulations. By improving surgeon skills, by building their confidence, they're better at their job and as a result patient outcomes will be improved.